Hi friends, today we'll be learning about the laws of exponents. So let's start. In our last section, we learned what are powers and how to express numbers in the form of powers. Today we'll be learning about the laws of exponents, that is how to multiply, divide numbers having the same bases or different powers. And also we will learn how to multiply and divide powers with different bases and different exponents. Now here we have our first question. We have to multiply 2 to the power of 4 with 2 to the power of 4. That is, we have powers with the same bases and same exponents. What is 2 to the power of 4? 2 to the power of 4 is 2 raised to the power of 4, which is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. That is 2 multiplied by itself 4 times. Also here we have 2 raised to the power of 4. So we have to multiply 2 with itself 8 times. So we can write it as 2 raised to the power of 8. Means that when you have the same bases and we have to multiply the powers, you can just go ahead and add the exponents. So 2 to the power of 4 multiplied by 2 to the power of 4 is 2 to the power of 8. Here's our next question. We have to multiply 6 to the power of 3 with 6 to the power of 2. 6 to the power of 3 means 6 times 6 times 6. And 6 to the power of 2 means 6 times 6. So we have to multiply 6 with itself 5 times. That is why we can write the answer as 6 to the power of 5. So this is our first law of exponents. When subjects are the same and you have to multiply the power, then you can just go ahead and add the exponents. Here we have another example. We have to multiply 3 to the power of 6 with 3 to the power of 7. The answer will be 3 to the power of 6 plus 7, which equals 3 to the power of 13. Here we have another question. 6 to the power of 24 times 6 to the power of 3 becomes 6 to the power of 24 plus 3 equals 6 to the power of 27. Next question. 7 squared by 7 squared. This is 7 to the power of 2 plus 2, 7 to the power of 4. So what have we been doing? We have the exact same bases in the power while we were also adding the exponents while doing multiplication. Here we have our next question. 8 to the power of 4 times 8 to the power of 2. This will be 8 to the power of 4 plus 2 or 8 to the power of 6. Next question, 9 to the power of 3 times 9 to the power of 2. This is 9 to the power of 3 plus 2, or 9 to the power of 5. Next question, 4 to the power of 6 by 4 to the power of 3. This is 4 to the power of 6 plus 3, which is 4 to the power of 9. Now, let's learn how to divide powers by having the same bases. 8 to the power of 4 divided by 8 to the power of 3. What does this mean? It means 8 to the power of 4 divided by 8 to the power of 3. This means you can write them one below the other. Now expand them. 8 to the power of 4 is 8 times 8 times 8 times 8, and 8 to the power of 3 is 8 times 8 times 8. So you can cut out three 8s from the top and bottom, and you will only be left with one 8 on the top. This means that the answer is 8. Now here comes the laws of exponents. This means 8 to the power of 4 divided by 8 to the power of 3 is 8 to the power of 4 minus 3, which equals 8 to the power of 1, which is just 8. So we subtract the powers when we are dividing powers that have the exact same base. Let's move on to the next question. 6 to the power of 5 divided by 6 to the power of 3. Let's do it practically. 6 to the power of 5 means 6 multiplied by itself 5 times. And 6 to the power of 3 means 6 multiplied by itself 3 times. So we cross out 3 6's from the top and bottom, and we are left with 6 times 6, which is 6 to the power of 2. So it shows that 6 to the power of 5 divided by 6 to the power of 3 is equal to 6 to the power of 2. 
Using the same law of exponents while dividing powers that have the same bases, we had to subtract the powers 5 and 3. So 6 to the power of 5 divided by 6 to the power of 3 is 6 to the power of 5 minus 3, or 6 to the power of 2. Next question, 9 to the power of 6 divided by 9 to the power of 6. Bases are the same, therefore, you can just subtract the exponents. That is, while dividing powers with the same bases, we subtract the exponents. So here we have 9 to the power of 6 minus 6, or just 9 to the power of 0, which equals to 1, because anything to the power of 0 is 1. Now let's see practically. We can expand 9 to the power of 6 on both the top and bottom, and we are left with 9 multiplied by itself 6 times on both the top and bottom. So we can cross out the 9s on the top and bottom, and we are left with 1 over 1, which equals to just 1. Hence, we have proved that anything raised to the power of 0 is just 1. So by using the law of exponents, you did 9 raised to the power of 6 minus 6 is equal to 9 to the power of 0, which equals to just 1. Hence, we have also proved that anything raised to the power of 0 is 1. 5 to the power of 0 is 1. 6 to the power of 0 is 1. 7 to the power of 0 is 1. 8 to the power of 0 is 1. So on and so forth. Now here we have our next question. 5 raised to the power of 5 divided by 5 raised to the power of 5. According to the law of exponents, when we divide powers with the same bases, we subtract the exponents. So this will become 5 to the power of 5 minus 5, which equals to 5 to the power of 0, which equals to 1, because anything to the power of 0 equals to 1. Therefore, this can be written as 5 to the power of 5 divided by 5 to the power of 5, which equals to 5 multiplied by itself 5 times, divided by 5 multiplied by itself 5 times. Now, we can cross out all the 5s, and we will be left with 1 over 1, which is just equal to 1. So both ways, we get the answer 1. So now we know how to multiply and divide powers with the same basis. I will repeat the rules. When the bases are the same and you have to multiply the powers, you can just add the exponents. And when you need to divide powers with the same bases, you need to go ahead and subtract the powers. So friends, now we know how to multiply and divide powers with the same bases. Now we'll be learning how to multiply and divide powers with different bases. Here we have a question. We have to multiply 3 raised to the power of 2 with 8 to the power of 2. Here the bases are different, but the exponents are the same. So here we have the next law of exponents. That is, if the bases are different and exponents are the same, you can then multiply the bases and the exponent will remain the same. That is, 3 raised to the power of 2 multiplied by 8 to the power of 2 is 3 multiplied by 8 all raised to the power of 2. That is 24 to the power of 2. Let's see how to prove if this is correct. So 3 raised to the power of 2 is 3 times 3. That is 9. And 8 squared is 8 times 8 or 64. 9 times 64 is 576. 24 squared is 24 times 24, which also equals to 576. So yes, both ways the answer will be correct. So our law of exponents is proved that when the bases are different and the exponents are the same, we have to multiply the bases while the exponents remain the same. Here we have our next question, 6 squared times 7 squared. We have different bases, but the exponents are exactly the same. So according to the law of exponents, bases will be multiplied and exponent will remain the same. So 6 times 7 to the power of 2. That is 42 to the power of 2. Let's check. 42 times 42 is 1,764. Let's see what we get if we do not use this law. We will end up with 36 times 49, which equals to 1,764, which is exactly the same. Therefore, we have proved the law. Now, here we have our next question. a to the power of 4 divided by 2 to the power of 4. Here we have different bases, but the exponents are the same. So according to the law of exponents, you will divide the bases and the exponent will remain the same. 8 divided by 2 to the power of 4. What do we get? The answer will be 4 to the power of 4. 
So we have to multiply 4 by itself 4 times, and we will get 256. Let's prove it. 8 multiplied by itself 4 times will be 4096. 2 multiplied by itself 4 times will be 16. 4096 divided by 16 is 256, which is the exact same answer we got before. Next question. Now we will not prove, we will just solve the questions as is using the laws. 9 to the power of 3 divided by 3 to the power of 3. Bases are different, exponents are the same. So we have to divide 9 and 3, and then that entire thing is to the power of 3. So our answer will be 3 to the power of 3, which equals 2. If you want the answer in standard form, you can just expand. That is, 3 raised to the power of 3 is 3 times 3 times 3, which equals to 27. So 3 to the power of 3 is the exponential form, and 27 is the standard form. Next question. 9 to the power of 3 multiplied by 6 to the power of 2. So here the bases are different, as well as the exponents. So how do we have to do this? You do not have any law of exponent for such questions, where bases and exponents are different. So you will just simplify the powers and get the answer. That is, 9 to the power of 3 is 9 times 9 times 9. 6 squared is 6 times 6. So just multiply all the numbers and you will get an answer. 6 times 6 is 36 and 9 times 9 times 9 is 729. You multiply those two to get 26,244. So there is no law of exponents when bases and exponents are different. So now we know how to multiply and divide powers with the same bases and different exponents and same bases. Now we'll be solving some mixed questions. For example, 6 to the power of 3 times 2 to the power of 4. Bases are different and exponents are also different. There is no law of exponents. 6 to the power of 3 is 6 multiplied by itself 3 times and 2 to the power of 4 is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. So we will end up with 216 times 16, which equals to 3,456. This is our answer in standard form. Next, 7 to the power of 3 multiplied by 8 to the power of 3. Exponents are the same, so we will only multiply the bases. 7 times 8 is 56, that to the power of 3. So this answer is in exponential form. If you want the answer in standard form, you can just multiply 56 by itself three times to get 175,616. Next question. 6 to the power of 3 by 7 to the power of 3. Again, bases are different and exponents are the same. So you can only multiply the bases and the exponent will remain the same. 6 times 7 is equal to 42, then all that to the power of 3. This is the exponential form. Convert into the standard form by multiplying. Next question. 3 raised to the power of 2 multiplied by 4 to the power of 2. Here, bases are different, but exponents are the same. So, we will multiply the bases. 3 times 4 is 12, then that to the power of 2. Next question. 2 to the power of 8 multiplied by 2 to the power of 9. Now here, bases are exactly the same, whereas exponents are different. So you can add the exponents. 8 plus 9 is equal to 17, so answer will be 2 to the power of 17. Next question, 6 to the power of 3 times 6 to the power of 2. Once again, bases are the same, but exponents are different, so we have to add the exponents since it's multiplication. 3 plus 2 is 5, so 6 to the power of 5 is our answer. Now, we'll move on to division of powers with the same exponent. So, 18 to the power of 3 divided by 9 to the power of 3. Bases are different, but exponents are the same. So, we can divide the bases, and the exponent will remain the same. 18 divided by 9 to the power of 3. 18 divided by 9 is 2. So, 2 to the power of 3 is our answer. Remember, this is the exponential form. If you were asked to find the answer in standard form, you can simplify the power and multi by multiplying it out. So you get 2 times 2 times 2, which is the factor form. Then, when multiplying that, we will end up with 8, which is the standard form. Here we have our next question. 16 to the power of 3 divided by 4 to the power of 3. Exponents are the same, bases are different. So you will divide the bases, 
and the exponent will remain the same. Dividing the bases, we get 16 divided by 4, which equals to 4, that to the power of 3. Next question, 16 to the power of 3 divided by 16 to the power of 1. Here the bases are the same and exponents are different, and we have to divide powers. So, exponents will be subtracted. That is 16 to the power of 3 minus 1, which equals to 16 to the power of 2. This is the answer in exponential form. Next question, 18 to the power of 4 divided by 18 to the power of 2. Bases are the same, so we have to divide the powers. So, we'll be subtracting the exponents. The answer will be 18 to the power of 4 minus 2, or 18 squared. Next question, 9 to the power of 5 times 8 to the power of 5. Bases are different, exponents are same. Only the bases will be multiplied while the exponents remain the same, or 5. This will be 9 times 8 to the power of 5, or 72 to the power of 5. Next question. 6 to the power of 3 multiplied by 6 to the power of 4. Bases are exactly the same. The exponents, however, are different, so you'll be adding the exponents, and you will get 6 to the power of 3 plus 4, which is 6 to the power of 7. Next question. 3 to the power of 2 multiplied by 4 to the power of 2. Here, exponents are the same, but bases are different, so multiply the bases, while the exponent remains the same. So it will be 12 to the power of 2, since 3 times 4 is 12. Next question, 3 to the power of 2 times 3 to the power of 2. Bases are the same, exponents are the same. If bases are the same, you will add the exponents. So it will be 3 to the power of 2 plus 2, or 3 to the power of 4. Next question, 6 to the power of 4 divided by 2 to the power of 4. Exponents are the same, but bases are different. So we will be dividing the bases and exponent while the exponent remains the same. So 6 divided by 2 to the power of 4 is 3 to the power of 4. This is the exponential form. If you want to in factor form, multiply 3 by itself 4 times, or standard form will be just 81. Now here we have our last question. 9 to the power of 5 divided by 3 to the power of 5. Exponents are the same, but bases are different. So we only have to divide the bases. 9 divided by 3 will be 3, then exponent will just be 5. So friends, now we know how to multiply and divide powers when the exponent are the same or different, or when the bases are the same or different. We can do everything with the powers.